I'm Mar, so today I'm so excited because we are gonna be comparing the most expensive makeup artist I could find and then the cheapest makeup artist I could find. I thought it would just be fun because I went to the best rated makeup artist, I went to the worst rated makeup artist, and oh, I actually went to the worst rated twice. And I felt like the things you guys were saying on the comments because you guys know I'm always reading the comments, it really changed based on price. And I think that at least for me, my expectations are always so much different based on how much I'm paying. So I just want to see what type of service I got, how the makeup ended up being. I mean, maybe it's better when it's cheaper, maybe it's better when it's more expensive. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but that's just why I wanted to do it. Let me know, you guys, what's your personal experience? Have you ever gone to like a really bad, really expensive makeup artist? Or maybe the opposite, maybe a really good, cheap makeup artist? Or just maybe a really bad, cheap one, and you're like, <laughs> okay, whatever, it was cheap, let's go. I don't know, let me know in the comments, you guys. But yeah, I'm so excited, so let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to head on over to the expensive makeup artist and she has all five star reviews. I want to read them really quickly for you guys. This makeup is hella expensive though. I already paid for it. It was $250. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> she better like transform my face. I'm wearing a bit of um, BB cream right now. I'm gonna take that off because I know, I know you guys told me when I compared the Sephora makeup versus the MAC makeup. And if you guys haven't seen that video, I will leave a link for you guys. But I made the huge mistake of showing up with a little bit of BB cream as well on my face. And you guys were like, stop, why are you doing that? Okay, so this review says, wow, wow, wow. You are miracle workers. I hired Blank to help me create easy to apply day, night, and sexy night looks as well as look through my makeup and cosmetics to take out what won't work and add in what will. She is phenomenal. Her level of calm, professionalism, and artistry blew me away. So that's amazing. Then this other person is saying that the team were a dream to work with, that they were highly recommended by her wedding planner. So they do a lot of wedding work from what I understand. Another review says that they are total rock stars, that they wear a lot of makeup on a day-to-day -day basis, and that she wanted to look like herself and that she looked even prettier. So that's amazing. This other one says, that this person is amazing. She is so sweet. She would not have gone to anybody else. That is so amazing. So I'm going in with high expectations, like extremely high, you guys. She gave me instructions. It's at her home studio. And like I said, they asked me to pay for this up front. I'm not sure if I shouldn't have done that thinking back because of the experience I had with the worst rated makeup artist. But since this person had so many great reviews, I felt fine doing that. So I don't think it'll be a problem. But I'm gonna show her a picture of this makeup, Karen, she's always like makeup goddess. So I'm gonna show her this and ask her to recreate this look. I think it's a pretty simple look. I think, you know, any skilled makeup artist can do this pretty easily, I would think. I mean, it's not overly complicated. I don't know. Also, Karen makes anything look like so easy and fabulous when it could actually be really hard. So I, I, I don't know, I'm not a makeup artist, but it looks like something that I feel confident like I could do. And again, I'm not a makeup artist. I just love makeup. So, okay, let me take this off, put on some more moisturizer and we're gonna go let's go over there okay you guys so i'm on my way there i took off anything i had on my face it's completely bare so we're gonna go with my little picture i will try to film the process for you guys but i don't want to be invasive it's her house so we'll see because when i did the best rated makeup artist it was at her house as well but she said oh you can film which was fine but i don't know if this other person's gonna just volunteer the information of like oh you can totally film here if you want so let's see all right so we're pulling up to this woman's area. Like she said, it's a residential neighborhood. She let me know that from the beginning. I just think it's good to know kind of where you're going. Cause if you're imagining like you're gonna find a studio and then you find a person's house, it's like kind of confusing. Okay, I think I found the house. She said she was gonna leave her driveway open, but it wasn't opened. I think that's, the, yeah, that's the right address for sure. I was gonna use my hidden camera type of thing, but it just feels like she's not prepared for me. Cause the, it's not open like she said it was gonna be. Let's just go you guys. I'm not trying to be negative or anything like that. I'm just. <laughs> A little bit nervous, I guess, because <laughs> my expectations are so high. It's because the price is so expensive, but let's see. Like, no, from the light. You can oh, okay, see it. it's good yeah. like that. <laughs> that's, that's how it works, you know, with lighting. I'm telling you, lighting is everything. So I 
I just filled in a little bit right here, a little higher than your natural hair goes, so you get a little bit more. You can see the difference. Mm -hmm. guys so i just left my appointment this is what the makeup looks like i think it looks really good i'm gonna go home and show it to you guys but overall i'm really happy it was a really soothing experience she had very like calm energy which i found to be really nice i feel so relaxed after she did my makeup sometimes you know i feel kind of exhausted after somebody does my makeup because they're very like high energy and i feel like they take all my energy but she was very calming which i loved but yeah okay i'm gonna go home and show you guys in a second okay you guys so i'm back i this is so funny but I felt like I liked it a lot when I was at her place and now I got here. I'm not so sure how I feel about it. Gordo said he doesn't like it. He said he likes it more when I do my own makeup. Um, I don't know. Let me get put you guys closer so you can see like everything in detail. Okay, bam, here we are. <laughs> so close. So this is, um, I don't know. I have this weird thing on my neck where it's like, it's like I have some foundation on it, but I don't. I'm not sure if that was, I don't know what's on there. And then I'm oddly shiny. <laughs> But it doesn't feel dewy. It just feels like I'm shiny. And then up here, it kind of feels unfinished to me, like the brow. And I asked her for very full coverage. And then she showed me like this. She was like, oh, we can still see some of your freckles. Would you like me to cover that? And I said, yes, I for sure don't want to see my freckles at all. And then I can 100% see my freckles. All right, so guys, I would love if you could leave a comment and let me know what you think about this. I just don't know. My opinions are really mixed right now because it just looks, I feel like it looks really different from what I thought it looked like. I'm gonna insert some pictures for you guys to see right here when I was in the car, which is just like natural lighting and then some pictures for you guys to see in here just in case, I don't know, that other camera picks it up differently. But yeah, let me know in the comments. You guys know I'm always reading those. And also, if you guys haven't done so already, give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Don't forget to also tap that little notification bell to join Clip More. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But yeah, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the experience. And like I said, it was really soothing and she took me to like her guest house. So I didn't feel like I was in her home at all it was a pretty private space and that was really really nice one thing that i felt was kind of lacking other than lighting was that i felt that for 250 dollars and i don't want to insult anybody if you're a makeup artist and you charge like a thousand dollars for your makeup and you feel that's what it's worth and people are paying that great that's amazing you do you but for the prices that i was kind of asking around them from what i've heard for like a normal makeup artist i know celebrity makeup artists and you know people that are well known have different prices but 250 did seem to be a little bit on the high end especially if i'm traveling to that person so something i thought would have been like really nice is if she would have like offered me some water or a drink or something especially because she had a fridge right there i don't know she could just go to costco and get some of those water bottles and it would just make the experience a little bit nicer because at least i get so thirsty and i was so happy i had my little water bottle with me and that would just make it like a little bit more, more luxurious you know but i can't judge her based on that every product she used was high-end like everything was like mac nars laura mercier anastasia the only thing that wasn't high-end the only thing that was drugstore was the mascara and she used a nyx mascara everything was clean every single brush she used on me was clean like brand new like clean not like it had been slightly used before and she had like sprayed it clean no it was like freaking like it was like white very very clean which i thought was amazing but she told me she only does two clients a day and she likes to take her time with them so it's usually about two hours slots for each client and this makeup took about an hour and a half at first she told me it was gonna be an hour but then she said when she saw the makeup she was like oh that's probably gonna take longer about an hour and a half and i thought it was great that she told me that out front not that she just said like oh yeah it's gonna be an hour and then she just took longer i like that she told me it was gonna be an hour and a half but i don't know you guys overall what do you think about the makeup let me know i'm gonna leave it up to you because honestly i don't know i love like loving it and then i sat here and i was like <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> so yeah, let me know. And now we're gonna go off and see the cheap makeup artists and see what they do over there. Hey guys, so I'm currently, well, we are currently on our way to the cheap makeup appointment and it's been a little bit hectic because this morning has just been like all over the place. For a brief second there, I had to cancel the appointment. <laughs> change it for tomorrow because i thought i was gonna go meet jayla i know my life is so sad and then jayla was like you thought girl <laughs> you thought you're gonna meet me but no so this is not at a makeup artist's house or anything it's an actual place it's like a little beauty salon i guess and they were super cool with me calling all apologetic and saying i had to come tomorrow i'm just kind of confused what they think is happening with me because you know for makeup it's not something you're like oh I'll just come tomorrow because usually it's for a special event right but i just called back and said oh 
another one. I actually, I can, I can make it today, so I'm gonna go and see what happens with the makeup. All right, guys, we're here. Let's go. All right, you guys, I'm looking for this place. Gordo said he just saw it, but I can't tell you. He was like, oh, it's right there. It's cute. So cute. Hi. Hi. So cute. So cute. Um, I have an appointment, a makeup appointment. Okay. Uh, makeup? Yeah. Uh, for 115. Oh, oh, what's your name? Sorry. Um, I think it should be other Maria. We don't have anybody here doing makeup today. I have an appointment for hair for you. For hair? Yeah, I guess it was it rescheduled. It looks like it was. It, it's for hair. It's not for makeup. It's not for makeup. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so strange. Yeah, um, no. Um, no, we don't have anybody here doing makeup. Oh, today. okay. Was it never for makeup? It look, well, I'm not sure because I um, I came in um, and what I what it looks like from that it was rescheduled from hair to hair. So. From hair, so it was always hair. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that wrong? Yeah, no, it was always makeup. Okay. Okay. So, um, so how can I um, fix that for you? Can we make it into makeup? Um, well, tomorrow. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's go tomorrow. I am so sorry about that. Uh, no, it's, it's so all right. If you have like something to do. And yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow okay, then. Sorry about no, that. No, no worries. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. okay. I'll come back. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye. Thanks. All right. So that was a complete waste of time. I got it. It, look, it was so cute. It was a really cute place. I'm so confused because it's honestly very cheap. It's thirty-five dollars, but I have no idea. She was like, "Oh no, you just had a hair appointment," and I'm like, "No, I for sure had a makeup appointment." So I don't know. But she, she, I mean. She was very nice and she was like, there's no, I mean, there was nothing she could do for me because there was no makeup artist coming. I was having strong flashbacks to the time when we went to the worst rated makeup artist. I was like, there's no one coming. But she said tomorrow for sure someone will come. So I don't know. I guess we'll wait till tomorrow. P.S. guys, I just want to point out for sure it was a makeup appointment because I don't even know how much a hair appointment is there and I know how much it is for the makeup. So how would I even know that if I would making a hair appointment you know I know they got confused and it wasn't because we switched the appointments around because she was like oh you, you went from a hair appointment to another hair appointment because I was like oh maybe they just got confused because I changed my appointment and they changed it from makeup to hair but no off again to this cheap makeup salon I'm like maybe I should have called first oh probably Ugh. well wish is luck you guys I don't even know maybe they're gonna be like you came in and asked for a nail appointment I don't know Alright, well, let's see. Hi! Hi! Hi, because I was supposed to do this yesterday, remember? So I want to show you guys the makeup here in the car, but I'm gonna show it to you guys later with the other camera that's a lot better, but I didn't want you guys to see it right now because I'm probably gonna wipe this lip off. Honestly, I mean, my foundation match is very off. <laughs> it's completely off, but I don't, I don't know. I have some thoughts, but I'll share those with you later. Let me go get this hair fixed and yeah. I'll check back in a little bit. All right, you guys, so I'm back. Sorry, I did take my lip off because I ate and I also got my hair <laughs> blonde. Well, I got a Brazilian on my hair, on my hair. <laughs> okay, so here is my makeup. I want you guys to be able to see because the only thing I feel is kind of off is the shape match if you compare my face to my neck. But I'm gonna bring you guys a little bit closer so you can see everything in 
full detail. All right, so here it is. Honestly, for the eye, I think it's not similar to the eye look I showed her at all. I think it's a really pretty eye look, but if you're asking me if I think it's what I showed her in the picture, I, I don't feel like it is. So the skin, to be honest, I'm pretty happy with the coverage. She didn't ask me if I wanted full coverage or what I wanted, but it looks, it looks pretty glowy. She was using the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, which I like, and the products she was using were products that belonged to the salon. I did ask her just because they were all like in the drawer and I found that weird that they weren't like in her kit but she did tell me they belonged to the salon and there were a bunch of different brands there was nothing really drugstore but there was a lot of Morphe like Morphe palettes and that's what she used mostly on my eyes so yeah here it is you guys so this was $35 she did give me the option to pay an extra $15 for the lashes I was like $15 for lashes seemed like a bit much and also I did want to pay the actual price like the actual 35 and to be 100% honest if I'm comparing this to that makeup I got done at Walmart which was the worst rated makeup and it was $35 this for sure is so much better I feel like this was actual you know professional makeup I think she did a really really good job now comparing it to the makeup that was $250 I would like for you guys to tell me what your thoughts are what I mean what, what do you think? Probably if it was just me, I would rather pay 35 and have this than pay 250 for the other one just because I'm cheap. <laughs> and I would have been like, that's fine. Let me just go with my $35 makeup. Cause I feel like it looks good to be honest. I think it's not 100% like the picture, but it was $35. I did tip her 20, so I guess it was 55, but that's up to you. I mean, you don't have to, you, you kind of do have to tip, but you decide what you want to tip. And for the person that was 250, I honestly didn't tip her anything additional because it was already so expensive and it was at her home she said the price the other girl was at a salon so i felt like i wasn't sure if the 35 was going straight to her i assumed it wasn't just because she was using products from the salon so i wanted to tip her for her work but i don't know that's just how i felt i just want to make a little editor's note you guys just to be clear i think they were both good i just probably would do the 250 just for like a very 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 like very special occasion but i think the 35 one was really good too so I don't think you have to get a really expensive makeup artist to get a good makeup artist. But anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know how you feel about it, what your thoughts are on this makeup and the other makeup and everything else. Also give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking down there. Tap that little notification bell to join Club Mar. I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on any new video awesomeness. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.